from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to roast turnip. Now I have a beautiful Ontario turnip from Harvest Farm Country Markets. Make sure you check out my review on these. Oh, they've been so delicious. So tonight I'm going to show you how to roast one. Um, I, we often mash it and that's usually where it stops, but we're going to do some other delicious recipes and show you how we do them, okay? So first things first, I need to peel this guy off and I'm just going to use a vegetable peeler. You can peel it however you like. If you want to just cut off the outside, please feel free to do so. I like to peel mine. Okay, so I'm going to chop my um, turnip into bite-sized chunks, maybe an inch and a half by an inch and a half or so. You can eyeball it. Good chunk, right? And I'm going to put it in a roasting um, pan here. You can put it on a cookie sheet, you can put it in a baking dish, whatever you have. Now, roasting things accentuates, it concentrates their flavor, makes them even a little bit sweeter, even tastier than just boiling them. Plus, you retain more of the nutrients in them than boiling them up in that water. What a gorgeous turnip inside. Look at that beautiful flesh. Perfect. So tonight I'm serving these alongside a beautiful braised Napa Jacks apple cider bourbon pork riblets that are going to be stupendous. So I have them in the oven right now and I'm negotiating between two temperatures. I would typically want to do these on 400 degrees, but my pork riblets are like on 360. So I'm going to turn it up to 370. It's going to be okay. And we're just going to let them go a little bit longer. Okay. Let's douse these guys with some olive oil, maybe a couple tablespoons. I freshly ground some black pepper. We always like a little bit of spice, a little bit of cayenne. And turnips tend to take a particularly uh, large amount of salt, in my opinion, to season them nicely. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt, and I guess we can finish it off on our plate if we need to. I don't want to add too much for people that aren't into that much salt. So let's just coat these guys. Use your hands. Get in there and coat them all up nicely. This is a nice way to do them for the holidays if you don't want to mash them, if you don't have extra room on your stove top with everything cooking, this is a good way to get it done. Okay, so we're going to roast these guys up until they are knife tender and a little bit browned on top. Into the oven they go. Probably about 40 to 50 minutes, maybe up to an hour if, since we're on 370, okay? I'm going to check on these guys in about 20 minutes. Alright, let's check on these guys. It's been a good 20 minutes. We're just going to turn these guys around, make sure they're coated in that olive oil nicely and they're roasting evenly. They look and they smell delicious. And I'm going to just check for doneness, see how much further we have to go. Well, these have quite a ways to go, which is great because my pork riblets do too. So into the oven, I would say they're going to take at least another 30 minutes. They've already been in there for 30, okay? So back in the oven. Alright, these guys look great, they're browned, they're, they smell awesome. I would venture to say these guys are done. It's been another 30 minutes. Look at these guys, I'm just turning them over in that olive oil. Now just test them for doneness. Oh, these guys are done. Beautiful! Let me show them to you. So there you have it, that's how you roast turnip. So easy to do, you just put it in, set it and forget it, pretty much. So let me try one of these for you, without burning myself. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. They're tender all the way through. They're browned on the outside. Mmm. They are so intensified in turnip flavor. Slightly sweet. Absolutely delicious. I hope that you'll try turnip different ways other than just mash, okay? They're easy to do. This was just thrown in the oven, then you come back and it's pretty much done, okay? These are really, really tasty and I know that we'll be doing them a lot more. Perfect for the holidays, great for a midweek dinner, whatever. Great side dish for the fall and winter, okay? So get out to Harvest Farm Country Markets, either one of the locations, one's in Niagara on the Lake, one is in St. Catharines. Check them out online too at harvestbarn.ca. Great stuff, Ontario turnip, all right? That's how you roast turnip. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, right? Be a champion in your kitchen.
and eat deliciously. Bye.